day here tonight. And heat race number two rolling out onto the raceway. Let's give you the starting lineup as the cars get pushed in out of turn four. On the pole will be the 44X, that pretty black and yellow car. That's Dan Massey. Starting in position number two will be the 76X of Jimmy Harrington. Rolling off third will be the 19B, one of the rookie contenders here at the Speedway, Barbie Eichhorn. Starting outside of row number two in the fourth position will be the three of Zach Young. Starting inside row number three is going to be the 81 of Carrie Langle, one-time feature winner here so far this season. On the outside, position number six will be the 76, defending 125-point champion Kyler Heine. Starting in the seventh position will be the 112 of Dylan Yinks. And on the outside, in position number eight will be the 16 of Marty Bryan. Three-time winner here so far this season, Marty Bryan. Rolling off to the inside of the fifth row will be the seven of Holden Ekman. And to the outside will be the 29 of Brandon Gibble. The 16 of Marty Bryan picked up the win in the 125 race at Shellhammer Speedway on Wednesday with the four-stroke machine. See if that could be as if Marty needs any more momentum heading into to, to this weekend's racing. Field making their way off of turn two, headed for the start box. Big contact to the inside. The yellow flag is out. That's going to be the 19B of Barbie Eichhorn and the 81 of Kerry Langle. Seems as if he, it's either been checkers or wreckers here for the 81 this season. Langle with a big up and down season here so far in 2019. Not the start he was looking for tonight. Get Usual quick work by the Clyde Martin Memorial Speedway track safety team getting the car separated down on the inside of turn three. Looks like both cars should be able to push off and back into racing action. They'll get the infield tires reset. The 81 of Langle back underway. He will join at the tail end of the field. But that will be but that will be the end of the heat race action for the 19B of Barbie Eichhorn. No two-minute clock here at the Speedway in the heat races. That rule, apply on, rule applies only to the consolation and the features. So we'll give you the top six here. Massey, Harrington, Young, Heine, Yinkst, and Bryan going to be your top six. Green flags in the air. We're racing. start there by the 44 and Dan Massey he's going to jump out to an early knee. Kyler Heine up into the wall rolling over the wheels. Gets it back down on all four. That was Ron Young that Kyler Heine rolled over the back of off in turn two. Still making a big move high. Spinner down in turn four. That will, excuse me, turn two. That will bring out the caution flag. Looks to be the 29 of Brandon Gibble. Do have one full lap in the books. 
looking like a little bit of displeasure shown there out of the 76 of Kyler Heine with the three of Ron Young. Field working. Fast track crew there in turn three. Mike Fry putting in the effort, getting everybody lined back up again. Single file restarts here in the heat races as the 29 of Brandon Gibble gets the push down into the infield. Nine laps remaining. Dan Massey, Jimmy Harrington, Marty Bryan, Kerry Langle, and Zach Young as the 76 of Kyler Heine pulls off to the infield. Green flags in the air. We're racing again. Now the 76 of Harrington goes around off of turn four. The yellow flag back on the speedway. Looked like uh, the 76 X of Jimmy Harrington may have had a little bit of help there getting around off of turn four. That will bring out the third yellow flag of the heat race. The 16 of Marty Bryan being sent to the back of the field. The instigator of that contact with the 76X of Harrington. So we'll give you a little bit of a reset here. After the first initial contact on our first attempt to get the race started, Kerry Langle fell all the way back next to last in the starting order. He now runs in position number two with no additional laps on the scoreboard. Dan Massey still the leader. Langle runs second. The three of Zach Young showing into third position. Dylan Yinks in fourth in the 112. The seven of Holden Ekman up to the fifth position, followed by Harrington and Bryan. Boy, caution lights are out at the start. Finish line field making their way towards the start box. 112, the Yanks pulls off down to the inside. He will be out of the race. Green flag, we're back underway. Let's see if this is gonna be green for good this time. The seven of Holman Ekman pulls down to the infield. Great racing at the front of the pack. Dan Massey, Kerry Langle, Zach Young, your top three as they come across the start finish line. Separated by just over seven tenths of a second from first to third. Langle and Massey holding on tightly down to the inside line. Langle pushing up a little bit, about a half a car width off the bottom of the speedway. Now the 76X of Harrington coming to a stop just short of turn one. Yellow flag back on the racetrack. That will be strike number two on the 76X. The Speedway does have a three strikes rule in the heat races. Caution lights are out at the start finish line. Only five cars remaining in the running order. That's going to be Massey, Langle, Young, Bryan, and Harrington. Green flag back in the air. Clean start off at turn number four. Here's Marty. Looking way to the outside, trying to get that 16 wound up. He's going to dive inside of Young. Looking for position number three. Nice pass there off at turn two by Marty Bryan. Now, Kerry Langle with the bullseye on his back. Marty not able to make up as much ground off a of turn two that time. As the gap at the front of the field stays the same. About three tenths of a second from first to second. Brian got a big run off a of turn two. That time made up a bunch of ground down the back straightaway. Four laps remaining here. Langle got it wide off of turn two. 
See if that's going to slow up his momentum at all. Marty looking high in turns three and four. Still no real change in the gaps at the front of the field. Looks like the handle might be going away on that 81 machine just a little bit as Dan Massey sees the two to go signal at the start and finish line. Brian now looking down to the inside of Kerry Langle, not quite able to get the job done there as the white flag goes in the air for the 44X of Dan Massey. Brian looking down to the inside of Kerry Langle, he's got the spot. He's going to force the 81 high checkered flag in the air. Dan Massey gets the win. Marty Bryan comes home in second. Kerry Lango third. Zach Young in fourth. And Jim Harrington rounds out the top five.